Hello, we're here at the Dallas Autorama. Um, once a year, here at Market Hall. My name is Ronnie Boy. That's my car, 63 Corvette split window coupe. The reason for that license plate can't see is because that was the biggest complaint of people after they drove their car home from the showroom. They looked at the rear view mirror and they saw the split and they couldn't see. So that's just a play on that. That little emblem right there is my old Corvette Club, which is one of the best designed club logos that I've ever seen. It's got the flags, it's got the cross, black and white, blue. These are uh, some of the plates that were on the car, some of the plates that were not on the car. You might figure that out yourself, I don't know. And that one there is knocked over. Now this is a great little phrase right here. The car you looked at today and want to think about until tomorrow, maybe the same car someone else looked at yesterday and will buy today. <laughs> so when you see something and you have the money, you should buy it right away. These are some uh, of my little own designs here. Born to ride. I do like to drive the car. It's a lot of fun. Feels like it always has over the years. These are some of the trophies from Autorama and a few other places. That's a 1983 Autorama. It's a little beat up, but then uh, it's been around. Now, I did have a fellow actually come up to this car and actually sniff the car because he saw that sign. And I thought, okay, well, it takes all kinds. As long as he's a car lover, then I'm with him all the way. This is a copy of the window sticker. This is the equipment that it has in it. So I thought that I'd put that on the window and then I added all this other stuff to read. Name of the color is Saddle Tan and Saddle Tan Interior. Some people call it gold, some people call it bronze, but it's tan. Uh, Fawn beige, when you see a beige car and then Saddle Tan and then you see gold, you'll know that this is Saddle Tan after you see the other colors next to it. So it's, it's, it's the least ordered color, therefore the most, um, I'm sorry, the least ordered color, therefore the most rare. So this color, about 1,700, maybe 1,800, out of 21,513 produced were saddle tan. This was an earth tone, was not popular in 63. Today, earth tones are in. Everybody loves an earth tone. So you don't see this color hardly at all. The door wrapped up into the roof for easy entry so you didn't hit your head. So if this door opened here, you'd hit your head. But it wraps up into there, which makes part of the appeal of the Sport Coupe so interesting. These are fake vents, just ornaments. They should have been functional. It's a four speed. This car has power steering, power brakes, and power windows. We'll roll around here. <clears throat> this is for the kids, and I'm talking younger and older, because there's 60 year old kids walking around. <laughs> so those are for kids to see and look at. They're all mostly 63s. That's a 118th model. And the reason I got that was because it is my, in my color, saddle tan. And that's a rare model, as well as the car. These are some pictures of where the car has been. I've actually flown on that airplane. And the airplane is a B-24 Liberator. I was at a car show, air show, in Lancaster, Texas. And this plane showed up, and normally, it doesn't. 
so it's not a usual thing for that plane to fly in. Anyhow, I saw it, and because it was a small show, and because it was uh, closing, the people in orange there are scooting me away, saying, get away, because we're gonna crank the engines up and fly the plane out, so move your car. Well, I didn't. I wanted to park, get a shot. I wanted the wings. That was my shot, once in a million. I don't think I'll ever get that shot again. And then I used that on my card, because I knew I wanted the picture of the car, but not any old picture. Now this, these are the original hubcaps on the car, and the car came with black walls originally. One of 412. Only 412 cars were ordered with black wall tires. White walls were very popular, and you'll see them on all the Corvettes. But this car is a black wall car to begin with, so I thought black is going to go back the way it is. Now I've got hubcaps on this side, but on the other side I don't. You'll see that when we roll around. Some people never even notice. These are some original ads. Only a man with a heart of stone could withstand temptation like this. How true. It's a great ad. This was another one. Shock to the system. This is in 63. This car was bizarre. The Jaguar XKE came out in 61 and it had a fastback coupe, which is as good looking as this, maybe better. But shock to the system. And of course, my first girlfriend drew that for me. Happiness is a Corvette. <laughs> or a 63 Corvette. Here's another picture here. of uh, I used to live in Horsham, Pennsylvania, and Route 63 was the route that I would drive out of my house and drive on every day. So I drove my 63 on Route 63. So if you have an old car, like it's a 73 something, you have to find Route 73. Go take a picture next to it, like that. There's South Fork Ranch, Trammell Crow Lake. I trained in a martial art called Aikido. It's closed down now, but that was in Oak Cliff. So that's kind of an iconic picture there with my car and the Aikido. I have a sign on the side of the car that says, please do not sit in the car. However, I do make exceptions. Sorry about that, girls, guys. <laughs> and then, of course, there's this ad. This is an original ad, and it is in, it's the only ad in my color of saddle tan, and it says, it's a man's car when I let him take it. <laughs> it's the only ad in saddle tan. Other ads, other things. Now, there's the wheel. It's not the original hubcaps. These are 15 by seven Corvette rallies. They produced that wheel in 1968. And I bought the car in 1968. So when I decided to put those wheels on, they fit with the tires that I had, but I like the trim ring and the center cap. Now, I can change center caps four different ways with a tall cap, a low cap. This I just did last week. Those spinners are from a 62 Impala Super Sport. And I drilled holes and made it special. So no one else has that ever. I've never seen it. This was the other version I had. Which is just a Spinner, and those are not Chevrolet, but just flags, red center. I had them on there. I decided I'd put these on this side. So when I walk into my car, I see my spinners and my trim rings and center caps. And on the other side, for the folks that like originality, they can look at the hubcap over there. I had one fellow tell me, because he was looking at, at this side only, and he said, I have some hubcaps for you. And I said, oh really? Go around the other side. So he goes on the other side and he sees my original hubcaps and he stopped trying to sell me his hubcaps. But 
I can get many different looks. I can have all hubcaps on the car, or I can do trim rings and center caps, which has that deep dish look, which I love. Here's an interesting little sign. My speedometer is broken. I got here as fast as I could. Look at the speedometer inside. So if you notice, the speedometer is uh, almost pegged at 160. Actually, it's 157. So I took a couple of pictures. Took a picture of a needle, took a picture of the speedometer, glued it in place, put it in, and it's just for fun. Just like this, just for fun. Touch my car, I break your face. That's Italian for, uh-oh. <laughs> but I fit in there very well. Six-footers can get in here also. There's lots of room in here. It's not all conglomerated with big consoles and all that. It's very open, very comfortable. Originally in Pennsylvania, we had cold winters and my steering wheel would be cold. So I thought I put this vinyl cover on here in 1968. I've never taken it off. So the leather grain on the wheel is probably looking very new. And I just never took it off. I just liked it. And it was saddle color from Pep Boys. Other pictures. This was uh, in Corvette News Magazine. And the color is off, but that's a saddle tan coupe. And this was the official publication from General Motors for Corvette enthusiasts. And inside was a fold-out of two saddle cars. Saddle tan convertible, saddle tan coupe. Not blue, not white, not red, but saddle tan. Now, it does look gold, doesn't it? Depends on the light, depends on the camera. Does look gold there very much. But this was a fold out, a center fold, which I thought was very unusual. And of course, that fits with my other stuff that's out here. This is a little conglomeration of what the car is. Built April 30th, 1963. Owned, I bought it May 31st, 1968. It's got the original interior, including carpet. Seats, headliner, everything's original. Saddle tan's the name of the color. It was the 7,504th coupe body built in April. It's a 300 horse, 327, four speed, 336 posi. And I got a report from uh, NCRS that told me that my car was an export car, which baffled me. The only thing they gave me was a dealer code 001 and zone 21. Well, I found out that that was the Netherlands. And I thought, well, if I can't find information in the States, how am I gonna find anything out overseas? I was stymied. One of 412 means 412 cars were ordered with black walls. White walls were super popular. Every car had white walls. So I put it back to black. This is a prototype picture. Note the hatchback seam line. They were thinking about making this a hatchback coupe, which would have been fantastic. That's about the only picture I have of that. Back here to the engine. Of course, there's my baby, so I had to buy that. It was at Walmart. <laughs> I do get a lot of likes. It's a 327. 300 horse. I actually put on those uh, little ram air tubes for fun. They kind of look okay. I do have the original air cleaner with the long snorkels. These were cut some years ago. But it's all back the way it uh, originally came in the engine compartment because I detailed that when the engine was out. And of course I always tell everybody to just uh, shut up and keep calm. So it's been fun. Now this is the sound you want to hear if you're going to buy a used Corvette. It just closes very easy. You don't have to slam it. You don't have to pull it hard. Just let it go. If it goes all the way, 
fine. If it doesn't, then you just, if it only goes this far, well then you know to push it a little harder. But you don't push it harder first. The paint from the door back is as I purchased the car. This front end was repainted three different times. I don't know when, but on the other side I sand it down the paint and you can see primer paint, primer paint, primer paint. So it was actually re-sprayed three times. And that's the reason why there's some cracks up here is because it's too much paint. And these are cracks from this accident, I guess. I don't know. But that's minor in comparison to some of the cars that might be out there. This is a bad repair. It occurred before I purchased her. I didn't do it. These are screws. There's 13 screws from here, center, all the way around to the headlight. That's not the way to fix a Corvette. But I left it that way just because I didn't want to fix it. And also, I wanted people to see the history. So, the car has a lot of history. It's been around Philadelphia. I purchased it in Philadelphia. It went to Kokomo, Indiana. It went to Jacksonville, Florida. It went to Memphis, Tennessee, Kokomo, Indiana, and then Dallas, Texas. And I can drive it anywhere at any time. It's never let me down.